Just got a brand new boat. I'm pretty sure this is his maiden voyage. So we're gonna head out to the bay and do some fishing. No, I got one out. Yeah, it's kind of just hanging out. Okay, I think someone's got this. Hold on a second. I gotta let you go. Right. Yeah. That's a fish right there. Yeah. That's not a fish. It is a lizard fish. Well, what the hell? I've actually never caught one of these before. This is ugly. Little thing. It's got teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a trout, kind of smaller though. That's like a trout, but tiny. <laughs> it's like a trout, but not really. Let me get my hands wet. Peace out, buddy. Well, I didn't get totally skunked. <laughs> I did catch a lizard fish. That's weird. Never had seen one of those before. All right, y'all, so I'm back at the house. We just made it back from fishing, and let me tell you, it was a grind today. After I caught those couple of fish under the bridge, I didn't catch anything else. It was basically just a bunch of this. We managed to catch one keeper trout and I didn't even have the camera running. So it was it was pretty it was a pretty difficult day today. And not to mention that I failed epically and we ran over my camera today at the dock. So if you've never seen what it looks like when a truck runs over your camera, this is what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do today is cook this trout and show you how I like to do it and what I find tastes the best. So let's get at it, Joe. All right, so this is what we have here. I have, this was a 15 and a half inch trout. As you can see, it's already cleaned and rinsed and ready to go. So all I did was cut the head off and clean the inside out and I'm gonna actually cook it just like this. What I'm gonna do is, is wrap it in foil and make a little basket for it or a little pouch for it, and then I'm gonna put everything inside the foil, and I'm gonna bake it in the oven at 385 degrees. So I'm gonna season everything up, put it in the pouch, and then get it ready to go. So one of the most important parts is getting rid of the bloodline. Uh, I got rid of most of it here. I mean, if you wanna rinse it out and get as much as you can, the bloodline is what gives fish the fishy, nasty flavor. So 
rinsing it out and making sure that it's good will actually make your fish taste a lot better. So what I like to do is season everything separately. I take the vegetables and season them, and then I'm gonna take the fish and season it. So for salt, so today I'm gonna use the Himalayan pink salt. I find that with seafood, it tastes the best. So I'm gonna season the vegetables, give that a little bit of season, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. What I also have is some garlic powder. Now I have garlic here in the cup, but that's gonna be for the fish itself. I have some chopped uh, garlic cloves, but I'm gonna use a little bit of garlic powder for the vegetables, and then I'm gonna season the fish. Now for the fish, it's pretty simple. Trout, you can eat the skin of, a tr of trout. Uh, it actually tastes pretty good. It gives it a nice little flavor if you uh, season it well. So I'm gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna actually pour it over the outside and then I'm gonna go ahead and season it. Give it a good little rub inside and out with the olive oil. Then I'm gonna take some sea salt. And then I'm gonna take the sea salt and I'm going to season it liberally both inside and out with the salt and also the pepper. Now I'm gonna take this garlic. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the inside or in the cup and then I'm gonna rub this just a little bit on the inside. As long as it's in the foil, it'll be all right. As long as it's in the foil, it's gonna still add, it's gonna still add to the flavor. So now for the vegetables, just line them up. Try to get some on the inside. I like to put the onions on the inside because I find onions get the most flavor. Um, the peppers is more just for like aesthetic color. I mean, they have a little bit of a mild flavor, but since these are, are mild peppers, you're gonna get. Put that all in there, okay. Now to pouch it up, it's basically just like a burrito. Just close the insides, or close the outsides rather and then just crumble it up on the top. And then you take this, put it in a metal pan, and you're ready to go. Now, like I said, it's 385 degrees, and 15 minutes ought to do it. We're gonna leave it 20 and see what it looks like. All right, so I just pulled it out of the oven. It's been 20 minutes, and let's see what this looks like. Smoking out. Oh, it's hot. Oh, yeah, look at that. Perfect. If, oh, that smells so good. It's times like this I wish there was smell of vision because, man, this smells amazing. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. All right, let's get a little stab with the fork. Oh, look at Look how it peels. It's just. So flaky. Oh, there we go. Let's give it a taste right here. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> that's so good. Yeah. That is. That's the juice right there. Oh man. That's amazing. <laughs> it is perfectly cooked. All right, y'all. That's all I got for today. Thanks for coming to hang out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Like this video. Or if you haven't done so yet, smash that subscribe button. There's a lot more to come. There's a lot more we're doing on the channel.
Don't forget to take a look at my personal ambassador store for razor fin fishing. We got plenty of new stuff to look at. Other than that, it's been fun. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. All right, y'all. Peace.